Hey miners, today we're going to be learning how to make our Ironfish node in uh, Ubuntu. So we're going to need Ubuntu uh, 22.04 and you will need Putty as well. So that way we can paste and copy our commands. This Ironfish project has been getting a lot of headway lately. It's been getting a lot of, a lot of buzzwords and everyone's kind of getting interested about it. So today I'm going to teach you how to make your Linux node so this way you guys can get your wallet. So this way you guys are able to mine and participate in Ironfish. So thank you to HeroMiners.com for sponsoring this video. Really do appreciate it. They're having a $10,000 airdrop from uh, Hero Miners, as well as they'll be offering 0% pool fee on Ironfish. The first five miners will win $1,000 each. The next five miners will win $500 each. And then the remaining 25 miners will win a hundred dollars each. There will be seven snapshots altogether. The first two specifically will be for testnet uh, miners, and the last five snapshots will be for the uh, mainnet launch. Um, these snapshots will be taken between uh, April 20th and between April 20th and May 20th. So really really cool guys really do appreciate it go check out herominers.com right now for your ironfish mining all right so today we're going to be checking out ironfish it's been a pretty popular coin of late it's been on its test net uh as of recording it's still in its uh on the test net but i believe when this video releases that it will be on the main net but all this information will still roll over onto the main net what we're going to be using today is going to be esxi with uh, Ubuntu 22.04.2 uh, make sure you have the correct version of Ubuntu or else this um, this how to will not work so if you have like 20.04 or 20.05 or something else not going to work make sure to use the correct Ubuntu it is um, 22.04 is jammy so just make sure that you're using the correct Ubuntu version you will also need putty so i will leave links down to both ubuntu and putty down below you could use a raspberry pi a spare computer maybe a server you have this will work with proxmox unraid um, esxi everything like that or you can do bare metal and just have this be standalone if you want um, up to you i'm going to use a vm because i have access to servers so we're going to be using servers today Okay, so we're over here at my ESXi. And we're going to, I've already made an Ironfish one just to make sure it works. Um, I referenced Sot's video, so thank you, uh, son of a tech. Um, the only thing that he didn't reference in his video was the version of Ubuntu. So everything uses different versions and some compatibility gets broken if you don't use the right version. So remember 22.04 for this particular how-to. So we're going to create a new VM and create new, and we can just call it, you know, fish. And then we're gonna to wanna to choose Linux and scroll down to Ubuntu 64, and click next. And I, I'm going to give this just a lot of resources just to speed things up a little bit. We'll just give it 16 uh, threads. You know and we're just gonna make this thing go really really fast because you know um i don't i don't want to wait around so i choose thin provisioned whenever i do vms because it it uses only as much hard drive space as it's needed as the program uses it so it, it won't use all of it right off the bat so that's something to to uh if you're able to use thin provisioned then uh, take off this, and like I said, we're going to go to our ISO store, and we're going to come down to Ubuntu 22.04.2. This is the one we're going to use. We're going to hit next and finish. And here is fish. We're going to power on our VM. So once your VM is uh, booted up, it, it will appear with this. We're going to choose English or whatever language that you choose. So then we're going to hit enter for done, done again. We're going to hit done again. We're going to hit done again. <laughs> we're going to hit done again, done. 
And instead of we're gonna instead of using this as an LVM uh, group, we're going to uncheck that with spacebar and go down to done. And then we're gonna hit done again. And go down to continue and hit enter. We're going to put in our information. And we'll call it fish. And we'll pick the username fish and put in a password. And then we're going to click, uh, use uh, continue right now. So we're not going to use pro because we don't have it. We're going to hit spacebar to enable open SSH server. This way we can use our putty. We hit enter again, scroll all the way down and do enter again. And this may take some time between depends on your machine and resources and all this other stuff could be five minutes, 20 minutes. So just when it gets to the end of the process here, I will show you what to do at the end of the screen. All right. So when you get to the end of the screen, it's going to say uh, reboot now at the bottom. So make sure you click back onto the screen and use your down key and click enter on reboot now. It'll take a few seconds. It's going to reboot, you know, obviously, into Ubuntu. So just give it a minute. When you see the unmounting CD drive, you can always hit enter. Just hit enter when you see that because obviously there's no CD drive. So, and then it'll force it to obviously start rebooting. So once you get to this screen and it's rebooted, we're going to use uh, Putty. So um, I will go to the I will go to Putty, uh, the Putty website for you guys. So. You can even just type in putty and it'll come up here putty.org and you're going to want to download putty i will leave a link down below it's a pretty self forward when basic windows installation i'm not going to take you through it when you open putty it will look like this so we're going to need our ip address for our our uh our vm here so it's 10.10.2.22 so we're going to come back here and we're going to do 10.10.2.22 and hit uh, enter and it's going to add, and then you're going to go over to accept and hit enter and now you'll be given the choice to uh, uh, obviously log in and I know this is going to be a little hard to see I can't blow this up that's just going to make the screen bigger so we are here in our putty right now and what we're going to type in is going to be our login of uh fish enter and our password enter and now we're inside of our vm the first thing we're going to do is want to make sure we're up to date so we're going to type in sudo apt up update and hit enter it's going to ask for your password again going to check for all the updates there says there's 40 packages that need to be updated so we're going to do sudo apt upgrade and then hit enter and then it will ask you yes or no you hit yes and it's going to start downloading and uh installing all the packages that it needs to do so depending upon your machine and internet connection and all that other stuff it'll take a various amount of time right probably only a few minutes so we're going to let this do its thing first before we go on to actually doing the iron fish uh, node because we need to make sure all of these are up to date first. So once um, it's fully updated, everything's up to date, we're going to run this next bash command. So we're going to, um, I'll put it here in the, uh, I'll try, I will copy and paste the command and Hopefully it will pick it up here in YouTube. Okay, so this is the bash command that we're going to be using right now. Uh, I will leave this link down below. So obviously guys, you guys can follow along. So we're just going to go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna do some stuff here and there, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're gonna see it move around. And then once you see all this stuff completed down here, then it has successfully, um, done what it's supposed to do you can always do uh, and then the next thing so the next command that we're going to run is going to be the source bash command and then we're going to hit enter and then we could always check our version of mvm so we're going to do mvm version 
And it says none because we don't have any installed quite yet, but MVM is installed. So it is working as it should be. So the next command we're going to be using, going to copy and paste MVM install 18, and then we're going to hit enter. And it's gonna do its thing a little bit, and we're gonna let it sit here for a minute, and we're gonna let it install. All right, it's installed. Now we need to run the next command, which is to actually get the Ironfish uh, to get installed here. So the next command is going to be npm install dash uh, g space Ironfish, and we're going to hit enter. And now it's gonna do its thing for a while. We're gonna let it install everything for the Ironfish node. Once again, I will be um, putting all of these um, commands inside the description so you guys could just copy and paste it in PuTTY. So when it's completed, it will look like something like this. Uh, and then if you want to make sure that it's up to date, you can come over here and grab this command right here. And just uh, we're going to uh, right click it right here. And it's going to be npm install dash g npm at uh, 9.6.5. We're going to hit enter. And we're good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make an additional screen inside of our, uh, of our VM here for Ironfish node. This way we're able to still type commands while the node itself is syncing. So essentially we're having multiple things go on at once, right? So we're gonna do this command here, which is screen dash S uh, space ironfish. We're going to enter. And then it should bring you right here to a fresh screen, right? And then the next thing we wanna do is actually start the actual uh, ironfish node. So we're going to copy and paste this command, which is going to be ironfit ironfish space start. And now our, our node will start to sync. And right here is going to be our public address. So come over to notepad and we will copy and paste it over. So you can see right here that the blockchain is now starting to do its syncing here. We're at like, you know, almost 5% or something like that. So what we're going to do now is, is I want you guys to um, hold control and then hit A and then D. Okay, control A, D. Okay, and now it says that we've detached from the Ironfish. Okay, so technically that screen is still going even though we're not on that screen anymore. Okay, now if you really want to know your address, just, you know, because you didn't have a chance to catch it right there, you can also run this command right here, which is going to be Ironfish space wallet semicolon address, and then you're going to hit enter. And now you have your wallet address. Now you can also, um, if you want to back up this wallet, you could run this command, which is going to be ironfish space wallet semicolon export space default, which is the name of the wallet by default. So that's why we're doing default space dash dash path space wallet dot back. We could do an ls really quick and you will see that wallet.back file. If you go into that specific file, you will have your private keys inside of this file here. <coughs> now, this is just a test, so I don't care. And the, the command you could do is cat space wallet.back. And what cat will allow you to do is actually look at the file. So this would be your private key for your wallet for for ironfish now you're probably asking me mining king 
how do I get back to the other screen in order to be able to see my wallet? Well, what we're going to do is, is we're going to do screen, uh, screen space dash R space ironfish enter. And now you can see it's still sinking. It's at 5.34%. So it's still sinking. If you want to get away from this again, once again, the to while you're in this thing, you hold control and do AD. And now we're disconnected and now we can, and that is still syncing even though we're still typing in commands, which is why we do the screen. This way we can do multiple things at once. So hopefully this was easy to follow along. Um, hopefully I broke it down easy enough for everybody to follow along. Um, that's how you make your Ironfish node. And this is, that's how you get your wallet key. So now let's get into how do we actually mine this coin now? All right, guys, we're over here at Mojave OS, and we're going to check out how to actually set up this flight sheet for Ironfish. So let's go ahead and we need to set up a flight sheet. So we're going to do coin ticker. And fortunately enough, Hive OS already has this coin in here, which is kind of nice. Most newer coins don't have that, but I think there's just been a lot of hype around Ironfish, so that's why I think um, there's been people who are, um, obviously it's gotten added. We're going to, remember we copy and pasted this wallet key here. We're going to copy and paste it. There we go. We're gonna call it, we'll call it the Iron, Iron Fishy. All right, now we got that, and now we can select pools. And because Hero Miners is sponsoring this video today, we are gonna go with Hero Miners. We'll do uh, US West uh, and US East, and then the Miner. So we're going to go with uh, Regal Miner. So because I heard these are really good with the 30 series. And you're going to have to come over here to the minor config because it doesn't import all the information yet. So on the wallet template, you're going to do wallet. And in the worker, you're going to do the percent with worker name and password is going to be X. And the pool URL will be over here. And then obviously you want to send your extra configurement uh, arguments here. This is going to be similar to like how we've been doing Radiant and some of those other newer coins lately where we've been putting the locked cores and locked um, memory locks inside of the extra config arguments. All right, miners, there we go. We are mining iron fish on our iron fishy wallet. Yeah, we're mining some fish coin now. It's gonna get stinky, I mean. <laughs> so be sure to check out the um, hero miners pool and thank you uh, ironfish.herominers.com for sponsoring this video. It means a lot to me. Uh, be sure to check out this pool right here. They are running a $10,000 uh, airdrop. Um, just remember, I went over those details in the beginning of the video. So be sure to check out this, guys, because it could be a fun opportunity. So there is already quite a bit of hash rate on the network. There's already 224 share hashes. So but then again, I'm only mining with a few cards and I'm already at like seven giga hash. So I mean, 200 Terra hash doesn't seem to be that much, you know, on the network, you know, per se. So um, really efficient algo, really cool to learn. Um, hopefully these guys come out with a desktop wallet soon to make it easier for some of us miners. Um, let me know how this video was. If you guys um, like this kind of content, if you can please give it a thumbs up, really would appreciate it. And thank you to Sot and um, uh, Bad Electron and Panda and all the content creators that have been covering uh, Ironfish. It's been great seeing everybody kind of making all this new content. All right, guys. I hope the video was helpful for you to get your Linux wallet up for Ironfish. Once again, this is the Monikin giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.